Controlling bleeding. Blood loss often gets the most attention. Many times the amount of bleeding is overestimated and draws attention to wounds when more serious injuries should be dealt with first. Whenever confronted with bleeding, perform a quick overview of the person to make sure something more serious is not being overlooked. Always use personal protective equipment prior to caring for an injured and bleeding person. The person can be instructed to perform some self-care while you put on your protective gear. The most effective way to stop bleeding from a wound is to apply direct pressure. Use a dressing in your gloved hand to apply firm and direct pressure to the injured area. Continue to hold the pressure until the bleeding stops. If there are multiple wounds, apply pressure dressings to the worst injuries first, and then to the lesser bleeding injuries. The person may temporarily be able to assist by holding pressure on some areas. Very small wounds such as scrapes can heal more rapidly by using an antibiotic sap. Ask the person if they have any allergies before applying the antibiotic sap. If they do have allergies, do not apply the salve. Thoroughly wash minor scrapes and abrasions with soap and water before bandaging. Massive bleeding can occur due to extreme injuries such as open fractures or deep lacerations. When direct pressure does not control bleeding, a tourniquet may be required. Tourniquets can consist of a blood pressure cuff, belt, or pre-made versions. Although commercially prepared tourniquets are more effective than improvised ones, if none is available, one can be made quickly using a piece of cloth and stick-like object. Understand that the application of a tourniquet is painful but may be necessary to prevent life-threatening blood loss. Tourniquet use is difficult and can be dangerous if done incorrectly. Direct pressure should be applied first. To apply a tourniquet, do the following. 1. Put on personal protective gear. 2. Apply a tourniquet approximately 2 inches above the wound. 3. Tighten until the bleeding stops. 4. Record the time the tourniquet was applied. 5. Call 911, EMS. 6. Stay with the person and do not release tourniquet until advanced help assumes care. Only a medical professional should remove a tourniquet. Certain situations may produce massive internal bleeding that is not visible when examining the person. This may occur from trauma, falls from a height, car accidents, or crush injuries. Penetrating injuries caused by a knife or gunshot may produce devastating internal bleeding with very little external blood loss. Immediately call 911 EMS whenever these injuries are suspected. Help the person lie down and remain still. Check for signs and symptoms of shock. You may need to cover the person to keep them from getting cold. Stay with them until advanced help arrives.